What's up, guys? As you can see, I'm down at a pond, and I was actually just not fishing with Max. There's my pole right there. But uh, anyways, I looked down at my feet, and if I wouldn't have looked down, I don't think I would have seen him. I found a little baby red-eared slider, and you can see that red ear on the side of his head, and that is exactly where they get the name, the red-eared slider. But uh, anyways, I featured a lot of these guys on my channel, so I'm just going to get a few photos as well as some more video of this guy, and then uh, we'll go and let him go. Alright, he wants to go. <laughs> Look at him. Alright, see you buddy. Alright guys, just found a little red-eared slider on the road. Looks to be a female, judging by her short claws. Let me just put her up here so she doesn't get hit. Pretty cool, Let's see if we can find any more. All right guys, I just now caught the first trip of the day. This is a little red-eared slider. I've actually seen a ton of them and they got really close to me because the people here feed them. So uh, it's kind of working to my advantage. This guy was just chilling in the weeds so I was able to grab him easily. You can see he's a little bit feisty there trying to bite me. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna get some photos as well as some more video of this guy. And then uh, we'll go and let him go back in his pond. So uh, I will see y'all then. All right, guys, I just now caught the second turtle of the day. This is another red-eared slider. And the reason he is very, very pale in coloration and he looks nothing like the first one we found is because this turtle is melanistic. But uh, anyways, you can tell he's a male because of that very, very long tail. And that is because they store their reproductive organs in their tail right there. And you can also tell that he is a male because he has very, very long claws as well. But uh, anyways, I'm going to get some photos as well as some more video of this guy. And then uh, we'll just go and let him go back in his pond where we found him. Alright guys, as you can see, I just found the third turtle of the day. This is a little baby redwood slider. And he is green and very, very tiny. He's probably just a little bit bigger than a quarter. And he was actually sitting right next to the first turtle of the day that y'all saw just in this grass, and thankfully I was able to grab him. He was very, very fast, and unlike all the other turtles, he tried to run away from me, which I wouldn't blame him. If I saw someone who's 10 times bigger than me, I'd probably run away too. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna get some photos as well as some more video of this guy, and then uh, we'll go and let him go. All right guys, I just now caught the fourth turtle of the day, another red-eared slider. And I've already got some quick pictures of him, so let me just go and let him go right now. I guess we'll just let him sink to the bottom. Alright guys, just caught the first trip of the day. A little prairie ring neck snake. I was actually just now fishing, walking around this pond. And I saw this board and decided to flip it, and I'm glad I did. Caught the first trip of the day. But uh, anyways guys, I'm going to get some photos as well as some more video of this guy. And then uh, we'll go and let him go. What's up guys? As you can see, I'm in this creek that kind of runs off the pond and I just caught this beautiful common snapping turtle. This is the second herp of the day and I haven't found a snapping turtle in a while so definitely gonna get some photos as well as some more video of this guy and then uh, I guess I'll just let her go. Alright guys, right here is Nerodia rhombifer, the diamondback water snake. And just like all of the other Nerodia, these guys love striking at you, biting you, musking all over you, and doing death rolls, trying to break off their tails, so you go for their tail instead of them. And that's exactly what this dude's been doing for all of the five minutes that I've had him. But uh, anyways guys, I'm going to get some photos as well as some more video of this guy, and then we'll just go and let him go, so I will see y'all then. All right guys, right here is the fourth herp of the day and the second Diamondback water snake of the day. 
And unlike the last water snake that we found, this dude is fresh out of shed. And the other one that we found was actually currently shedding. But uh, anyways guys, I'm gonna get some photos of this guy. And then we're just gonna let him go back in the spawn where we found him. 